Hi, I'm Farron from Thermo Fisher Scientific's Grand Island site, and today we're going to be doing an experiment called bubbling lava. So what you're going to need for this experiment is water, vegetable oil, Alka-Seltzer tablets, any color food coloring, and a clear container. It could be a glass like this one, or maybe a water bottle. You're also going to want to make sure you use personal protective equipment, such as goggles or gloves, maybe even a lab coat, to keep yourself and your experiment clean. All right, let's get started. So your first step is to fill your drink container about halfway with water. You're going to want to remember to leave a little bit of room for the gases to come off at the top. Next, we're going to add oil. What do you think is going to happen when we add this oil? Will it mix? Will it stay separated? See, the oil doesn't mix with the water. This is because oil is a hydrophobic molecule, meaning it doesn't like water. This is due to the highly polar nature of the water molecules, having many negative charges and the fairly neutral charge of the oil molecule. Next, what we're going to do is add some food coloring. You're going to want to make sure you only add a few drops so that you can see all of the chemical changes happening later. What do you think is going to happen when we add the food coloring? Yeah. You'll notice that the food coloring doesn't mix with the oil. It actually sits in the space in between the oil and the water. This is because food coloring is mostly made up of water. Since the oil later is hydrophobic, it will not mix with the food coloring. Now here comes the fun part. Now we're going to add the alkyl seltzer tablets. What do you think is going to happen? If you take a closer look, you'll see that the alka seltzer is bubbling, which caused the food coloring to entirely mix with the water. When the alka seltzer tablets are dissolved in water, bicarbonate forms from the sodium bicarbonate, which in turn reacts with the hydrogen from citric acid to form water and carbon dioxide gas. This gas is what creates the bubbles that you see. This gas tries to escape the liquid by pushing the colored water up through the oil. This creates bubbles of water that are encased within the oil to make bubbling lava. Pretty cool, right? Bye!